Okay, we have here today another integral. This one's from the UNSW Integration B from 2023, problem number four. We have the integral from one to three of two x squared minus x plus one over x squared minus four dx. Okay, now before we really get into it, the first thing we need to notice is just look at this denominator. When x is equal to two, we're dividing by zero. If we end up in a situation where x equals two, then we have zero in the denominator, we're dividing by zero, and that's a huge problem. And the, and the thing with that is our bounds are from one to three, so we've got two right in the middle there. But before I get to that, what I wanna deal with is we've got the same power in the exponent here, the same degree in the numerator and denominator, so I'm gonna to wanna to kinda of simplify this. We could do polynomial long division, but I kinda of like to just do it on the fly. But let's just notice if I multiply this denominator by two, that would be two x squared minus eight, so I think we'll just go over here and kind of rewrite it. So we'll have our x squared minus four here. Then running down everything here, we're gonna have two x squared. I'll give some space, minus x plus one. But then I wanna create this so I can have part of it just be two. So I'm just gonna subtract eight here. I don't wanna change it, so we'll add an eight over here. But then here I can put together eight and one, we'll just have a nine here. And so what I can do then is I can split this into two fractions. One of them will be two x squared minus eight over x squared minus four. And then everything else I'll split up, I'll write this as nine minus x over here over x squared minus four. But then again, this right here, this is just gonna be two. But then what we can do now is we can take this and split this into two integrals. So the first one, we're just integrating this two. Then for the second one, we'll just integrate this thing. So we'll have from one to three, nine minus x over x squared minus four. So of course, I'm not concerned with this part because this is gonna be easy. But for this one, let's just work on this second integral. And for x squared minus four, I can factor that. I can write that as x plus two times x minus two. And so coming down here, if we rewrite this, just dealing with our second integral, nine minus x over x plus two, x minus two, what I'd like to do with this is partial fractions. So normally what I wanna do here with this is just do partial fractions and split it into two integrals. So for our first one, we'll just have this x plus two, and then we'll have a in the numerator that we can solve for later. And then for the second one, we're going from one to three, x minus two, and we'll have b in the numerator. But what I wanna do is get back to this discontinuity that we have at x equal to two. Well, just notice in this first integral, there's actually no problem here in the first integral between one and three, we're not dividing by zero. So this one we could just do, uh, we don't have to worry about it. So we'll put this one off for later. But here we still have a problem because when x equals two, we're still dividing by zero and it's not continuous at that point. So what I wanna do is just go ahead and integrate this second integral. And I'm not even really concerned with this b, so we'll just leave it as b and we can come back to it if we need to. But because we have that discontinuity at two, let's just split it up into two integrals in order to deal with this. So for the first one, we'll go from one to two of b over x minus two dx, and then we'll have our second one just going from two to three. And so we'll just take this first one and integrating this, we're gonna have b natural log absolute value x minus two, and we need to evaluate this from one to two. But now we can evaluate this, but we need to do it carefully at this point because that's where our discontinuity is. So to evaluate this, we're gonna need the limit as x approaches two from the negative side, from the less than two side of b natural log x minus two. And then for the other part for this, I'm just gonna plug in. So this is gonna be b natural log. Then plugging in one minus two is gonna be minus one, but absolute value of minus one is just one. But ln of one is zero. So this part's just going away and we just need to deal with this limit right here. Okay, so let's just come over here and look at this limit. So we have the limit as x approaching two minus of b ln x minus two. But now because of the absolute value sign, it doesn't really matter what side we're approaching to. Either way, this is gonna be like zero plus. So the natural log approaching zero, this is actually going to minus infinity. But if this here is going to minus infinity, then this piece here does not converge. And because this piece doesn't converge, we really don't care what this piece is doing. We don't care what this is doing. We don't care what this is doing. If one piece doesn't converge, the whole thing doesn't converge. So for our solution to this, we can just say this is undefined or does not converge. So there you have it, kind of a trick question with no solution from UNSW 2023. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.